Hi everyone, Ian Matthews from DLIT here, and in this video we're going to go through the process to record, upload, edit, and share videos with TechSmith Nomia. Here we go. The first thing you want to do is go to grcc.techsmithrelay.com and sign in. If you had an account with uh, TechSmith Relay, that'll be the same login, but if you haven't used Relay or Nomia before, you'll need to create a new account. That option will be down here if you don't have an account yet. I'm just going to sign in and we'll keep going. Once you're signed in, you'll see something that looks a lot like this. You may not have any videos yet, um, but we'll start with this button to create. This is where you would create a new folder. So say you have multiple sections of a course or multiple courses that you're teaching, you could create folders for videos in each of those courses. This is where also if you have local files on your computer that you've created with Adobe Premiere, um, TechSmith Camtasia, for instance, you could upload those here. You can also import videos from YouTube. Uh, for analytics in Nomia and a couple other features that we'll look at in a little bit. Um, for right now, we're gonna look at this capture option. So this will launch the Nomia capture app. Um, if it's your first time using it, you'll be prompted to download. All the future times you use it, it'll just ask you to launch capture. And it'll pop up this little record button here. So when you're ready to record, you just hit the red capture button and you're off and running. Uh, so first thing you'll get is some options for what portion of your screen you want to capture. You can get a full window, you can get the full screen, or you can draw a box that you'd like to capture. And it'll pop up a little magnifying glass when you're close to the edge of a window so you can get your corners really precise. Let's just do our full screen. Something to note, if you're using a mic, you want your voice recorded, make sure that it's picking up your audio here. If you're sharing system sound, that'll be in this uh, little speaker symbol. If you want your webcam on, note you can only share your screen or your webcam at once, not both at the same time. Um, you would turn it on here. When you're ready to record, hit the record button down here. You'll get a little timer, three, two, one, and you're ready to go. So this is recording your screen. If you were talking over your PowerPoint, if you were doing a software demo, that will be happening. It will be being recorded. Things to note while you're recording, um, if you want to switch between your screen and your webcam, you can do that with this button. Hello. If you want to pause your recording or get those options back up, you hit the little pause button. From here, you can keep going on your recording with the record button, or you can stop. So we'll stop now and keep going with our demo. When you hit that stop button, you'll get a preview uh, to make sure everything looks and sounds as you expect it to kind of scroll through. Um, you can watch the whole thing if you like. Then when you're ready, you would hit the blue upload to Nomia button. And we'll wait for it to upload. Upload is done hit continue, and you go back into Nomia on your browser. So from here, a couple things uh, to note. First thing to do is to edit your video's details. Uh, this is where you can give it a title. Say this is your week one lecture. You can give it a description. This is optional, but it always helps to give additional context for what the video is. Sure. Um, and if you have different folders for your different courses, those will be in your location drop down here. Save that. On this menu, you can also edit. Uh, say you were clicking around before you got your PowerPoint started, what have you. You can edit those kind of starting and ending things out. I recommend editing on this video just to keep everything pretty straightforward in your Nomia library and not have a bunch of copies of everything. Um, you can also edit on a copy. So the Nomia editor is pretty simple, straightforward. Um, you're just setting in and out points for your cuts. Say you had, I don't know, two seconds of non-usable video, you would just set green to start the cut, red to end the cut, and then hit the cut button, and that's chopped out. You can always undo, um, and you can always restore original video if you need to undo multiple edits. Um, once you're done, you wanna publish. So save and exit 
will accept your edits, but it won't sync them to the live version of the video. You have to publish to make that version the one that your students will ultimately see. Next thing we'll look at is accessibility. This is where you can add captions. Um, so it will generate captions automatically with speech to text. You can also contact Media Technologies to have your videos captioned for you. Note there is a backup on that because it's just one person doing that. Um, so I do recommend doing your own speech to text and then you can edit. But if you have a really, really long video and it's very time sensitive, you can reach out to Media Tech. But you request captions when they're ready and that depends on the length of the video and on the number of people that are also using the service. Um, you'll get an email to your GRCC email and then the caption track will show up here. Once your captions are ready, the status will change to ready for edit, last modified by you. In the three dots, you can publish, don't publish yet, you can edit, and you can delete, don't delete. Um, so we'll edit. And this editor will look pretty similar to the video editor with some additional options. So as you can see, and I'll mute, um, it'll go through your video with the captions down here. If there's anything that's inaccurate, you do need to edit for, for full accuracy for ADA compliance. Um, you could just edit in these boxes here. If there are any glaring ADA errors, captions that are not accurate, um, or captions that are too long or too short, those will show up here. But you can just go through your video, edit the captions for accuracy. When you're ready, same as the video editor, save and exit will accept your changes but not publish. Publish is what you want to do. And that will add the captions to your video. three more options you want, might want to make use of. Uh, the first is your analytics on the video. This will become important when your video is actually in Blackboard, but this will show you how many viewers you've had, individual viewers, how many views total, so this will be different if somebody rewatches the video, any comments, and the completion rate, um, what percent of the video people are watching. Down below, since Nomia is an authenticated player through the Blackboard LTI, students will be logged in with their GRCC username. Um, so you'll see each individual student's activity in the video down here. Uh, what percent of the video they've watched. If there's a quiz, you'll see their score here. Any activity and conversations as well. So conversations will add a little comment space on the side of the video. If you wanted to have a video-based discussion, uh, students could type in questions or comments or what have you in a conversation. If you want to add a quiz, that's under the quizzing option. Um, so you can go into quizzing, add a quiz. This will pop up a little preview player of your video and the quiz options down below. So you can watch through or scroll through your video and add questions at various points. Something to note, when you go to add question, it'll tell you um, you can not move a question once you've created it. So if you have a question in the wrong spot, the only way to fix that is to delete and recreate the question. And it'll prompt you that every time. Uh, but you can type your question here, add your answers, obviously, and then any feedback. Um, you can have multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, or a little free response question. So these will only come to you if you want students to see each other's answers. You would use a conversation rather than free response. Once you've edited your video, added captions, and added any conversations or quizzing you'd like to use, uh, it's time to take your video from Nomia into Blackboard. So here I am in my week one folder where I'm gonna add this video. To upload your videos from Nomia into Blackboard, you'll use the Nomia LTI, which is under the tools option, not build content. So you'll go into tools and find text with Nomia down at the bottom. So this will look pretty familiar. This is just the Blackboard uh, content creation menu. So give your video the name that you have in Nomia, week one lecture, um, add your description, You don't need to attach anything. If you have a quiz, or if you wanna make sure that students have watched the whole video, you can enable evaluation. So if there's a quiz, that will create the grade based on the student's score on the quiz. If there's no quiz, the student will get a grade based on the percentage of the video that they've watched. So if they watch half the video, they'll get 50%. We won't use grading for now. Yes, permit users to view this content. You don't need to track views in Blackboard necessarily because Nomi will do that even if this is on no. Um, so go ahead and submit. 
Now to actually attach the video to that link, click back in. The first time you do this, you may have to authenticate to Nomia again or give it permission. But once you've done that, you'll see your list of all your videos in Nomia here. You can hit add media and that will attach the video. So this is what students will see when they log in. And you can see the analytics, accessibility and quizzing options here as well. To see how that looks in Blackboard, just click on your week one breadcrumb. We'll go into our student preview just, preview just to check it out. We can click into the week one lecture video and the video uh, is there. If there's any quizzing or conversations, those will be alongside of the video or pop up in the, in the video frame. For quizzing, students can see the details down here, all that good stuff. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, you can email us at dlit at grcc.edu or visit us online at grcc.edu slash dlit.